<laughs> now people can see and hear you. Okay. Hi, class people. There's <laughs> Winnie who wanted to be on camera. Um, we're just going to start the class shortly. So hang on. I've got to get there. Are any of you joining me yet? <laughs> Winnie, Winnie, look it. Who's on TV? Yeah, you silly girl. You silly girl. Where's Leah? Where's Leah? Hmm? Leah's not on Facebook, so she doesn't know what we're doing tonight. Should we tell her? Should we tell her? Hmm? Good girl. <laughs> oh. Okay, now, Mom, you can go to background sign. All right. Okay, you're on. Okay, hi, everyone. Um, we should be on our class page now. You had the enjoyment of seeing Winnie and my mom a little bit ago um, while we were getting connected over here. So if you can see and hear us, let us know. There's just a few of you so far, so we're going to give it a little bit of time to let other people get connected. Um, um, I'm trying to get connected to, I'm on your okay, virtual I'm, page. Yeah, my mom's trying to get connected, so hang on, I'm going to go around for a second. Alright, okay, did you find it, Mom? There, there we go. Okay. Okay, hi everyone. We're on the class page now. While we're waiting for people to get connected, I just want to show you a couple samples that I made um, this week. So, this past weekend, I did um, the banded Z fold on the one of a kind, and we did the trees. When he says, hi, Kathy. <laughs> yeah. So this past weekend, we did um, the tree Z folds. So we did this one, which is the horizontal banded Z fold. And then we also did the trees, which is the vertical. So I needed to make samples because we have them in black and white and cream. So this one's a cream. So I made a couple samples. So I thought I would share that with you too. So using the same gnomes that I had punched out for the, um, the Fun Time Thursday scored card holder, this is the white one that I did um, with the gnomes. And then I also did a black one using um, just blacks and reds and whites. And this is with an, um, what is that? Uh, Endless Creations stamp. So I'm probably going to do something similar for this to this, or at least the same concept for the one-of-a-kind January craft along. So any, anyways, let's get going. So, oh, let's go down. Well, I, we, we don't have to go down. Are you ready to go down yet, Mom? Okay. Anytime. So anyways, um, Mitra is joining us, but she can't join us live. She's joining us pre-recorded. Um, at 7.15. So it is now 6.20. We have three cards to do. So we have 55 minutes. I'm sure that'll be good. Um, but she did pre-record um, some different, some stamping techniques for stamping the slimline um, stamps that we're using. Not the ones that we're using. She did um, some pretty mountains, um, but just showing you how to layer them, stamping with a platform with them. And then she has a coupon code. So sh that video is going to automatically start at 7.15 on this class page. So I'll be done and then her video will start. Um, but yeah, so yeah, she couldn't join us live, so she pre-recorded something. So this is the first time I've done that. And when I pre-recorded it, it like sent out a notice and I didn't know that was going to happen, but it sent out a notice and it was <coughs> saying that Sarah Bogan Shoots Justison is having a live video at 7.15 and it actually has my um, 
like profile picture, which is Ron and the baby. <laughs> so it was, it was kind of bizarre because I didn't know that was going to happen. But anyways, so 7.15, Mitra will be on. Let's go down to the table. We'll get started with our class cards. All right. So this is our Impression Obsession Slimline Card Class. Perfect. Okay. So we have these three cards. We're going to do this one last because that one has the most stamping. We are going to start out with our um, lighthouse card. So if you can pull that one out, this is probably the easiest one. Um, and I'm pulling mine out, right? Well, you're pulling yours out. So for the, for when I pre did them, I usually print my images. Sometimes I stamp like the word images and sometimes I um, pre-print them. But when I have, this is so nicely stamped because I didn't stamp it, I pre-printed it. Um, so that's how I do that so nice. Now, you have two pieces of cream in there. One piece of cream is a layer for the front. Mm -hmm. There's a really thin layer of cream right here. The other one is for the inside. So if you want to go ahead and attach that one for the inside, or if you don't want to attach it because you're not sure what you're going to do with it and you want to just keep it loose in case you screw it up and you need to turn it over, but we can go ahead and just get that piece out of the way and attach our cream piece to the inside. So this is just a layering piece and I'm using it as a layer on the inside of the dark brown card. So we'll just get that out of the out of the way pretty quick. Can she get down by herself? She, um, she can get down by herself. We're talking about Winnie now. Um, but the chair will tend to move. Okay. So you kind of have to hold the chair so it doesn't slip okay. while she's jumping off. All right. So All right. now we're going to wait to attach this. We're going to work on our printed piece right now. So now this one, I've been doing a lot of brush blending. You know, I have to give you guys something to do. But on this one, I actually am using sponges. So this was a round sponge, and I just cut it in half, and I used it for other stuff. Um, but you could also use, you could certainly use stipple brushes okay. if you want, and just kind of pounce. Because you can tell that this isn't filled in all the way. So I have my yellow ink pad, my orange ink pad, and then <clears throat> a red ink pad. I like to start with my yellow, <clears throat> and I have my sponge, and I'm just going to dab it on there. Um, and then you're just going to sponge, you know, kind of wherever you want. Yellow has the most color to it. Um, I hope my table doesn't shake too much. Mm, a little bit. I'll try not to dab too hard. Um, so yeah, just kind of dab wherever, but yeah, you, you can dab off a little depending on your, because you'll get little splooch-ity things, I should have said that first, um, technical words, splooch things, um, so yeah, kind of dab off depending on if you just re-inked your ink pad or how hard you're pushing down, and there's really no right or wrong. now. The first one I didn't do a lot of yellow around my lighthouse, but this time I think I am going to do a lot of yellow around my lighthouse. Get down into the grasses there. Um, when you think you have enough yellow, move on to your orange. So yeah, this is pretty much the easiest card of all three. You know, do see how dark my orange was there? you want to do it off a little bit or down in the grasses where you're not going to notice a splooch as much. So yeah, probably off is a good is a good plan. But yeah, this one isn't meant to fill in all the way. Although I'm doing a pretty good job of filling in a lot this time compared to the first time I did it. So this is the one I was going to see if Mitra would teach it. Like, um, especially I was trying to get us so we could split the screen and both talk at the same time. But then she wasn't able to join us live anyways. So then I gave up on that plan and then I was figuring out how to... Um, oh, your mama's here. 
Oh. My daughter just got here to pick up her dog. Um, so anyways, don't ask a question right now while my mom's not sitting there. Um, so go on to your red, again, wherever you want. Oops. Yeah, I should have blocked off on that one. So you can kind of just blend it in. You can come on in here, Leah. Okay. So now we have all the gals here. <coughs> My mom, Winnie, Leah, everybody. So Leah's actually going to be the one oh, joining us on Saturday for our comment sold, um, which she's nervous about. So once you get as much color as you want on there, you can put your sponges away. And then, and then we're just going to take first and our twine. Now I did do my twine. I kind of did the cheater twine because I'm not really good at tying a bow. <clears throat> so I did just cut my twine a little bit longer than my layer because I'm going to wrap it around and attach it to the back. And then I'm going to use the extra twine and tie a little bow. And that bow is actually just attached on with glue. So, are there any questions, Mom? No. You can watch over there. Yeah. Watch no. on the restream. No, they're right. Okay. So, they're all working hard. Are you leaving? I am leaving. Okay. Bye. Say bye to everybody, Leah. Bye. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> See you Saturday. See you Saturday. Okay. So I'm just tying my little bow. It's a lot easier for me anyways to tie a little bow um, just as a loose piece rather than wrap it around and try and tie it and get it to turn exactly the way I want it um, on my project. So this is the cheater way, but that's okay. And if you're super good at bow tying and want to do it the other way, you knock your socks off. Okay, puppy's gone. Yeah, puppy's gone. Now we can like get concentrating here. So when puppy's here, we have a little bit of distraction. Oh my God. <laughs> um, all so, day. <laughs> yeah, she was here all day. So we're going to take our twine and this is just wrapping around to the back. Okay, of both ends. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to put tape. And I'm going to wrap one end around and then try and pull it straight across. You can put it as low or as high as you want. Now, I can't put it down because I don't want it to stick to the table, which I just did. <clears throat> but I do want to pull it kind of tight. And actually, if you pull it a little bit tighter than you should, um, then it'll be really taut, which is good. So then I do cut off my extra. I do put tape over the top of my twine, and now I'm going to put tape all the way around and attach it to my cream piece. Oh, you know what? Or you can pop it up. Like mine is attached flat, but your twine kind of pops it up a little. So if you want to pop up that whole layer, you could have, but I didn't. And I'm just going to attach that onto my cream piece. It's got a little border all the way around the outside. And I did take some crystal lacquer, which I'm going to do at the very end, right here. Um, my twine is just um, adhered down with some crystal lacquer and it dried clear, but I did that at the very end. So now I'm going to put tape on the back of here and attach it to the front of our hot fudge scored card.
Okay, and then our words. So you're gonna trim your words fairly narrow. I gave you two of them, just in case. Just in case what? Nah, in case you didn't like what you did with one of them. Like in case you trimmed it too narrow, which I probably just trimmed it too close, but that's okay. And if you have a personal paper trimmer, this would probably be a good time to pull it out. So to get my little point at the end right here, so you can, I just took it where I wanted my words. I flipped it over and I took a little pencil and I drew my little V there and then I cut in on my V. <clears throat> now sometimes when our dyes are used a lot you get a little jig jaggy edge and sometimes I just take my fingernail and just go across it and that'll get any of those little sniblets off of there. So now this is just going to attach onto here um, and then you're just going to trim that other side. So I'm just going to attach my little word flag. And you could have um, done both sides but I cut one side straight. It doesn't matter. And really you have two of them so you can do whatever you want. If you don't like the way one turns out, you can do the other one. Now I just did cut this straight. And our little um, bow is going to attach at that end part anyways. <coughs> so now I did take foam tape just a little bit on the top edge and the bottom edge. And I mounted that on there. Let's see. I have some narrow foam tape that... Um, June Lukowski had sent me. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's already cut. I don't know where she got it from, but it, um, and she usually is watching on YouTube. It but tore fairly. Pardon? It tore fairly nicely, huh? Yeah. So yeah, I don't know what brand this is, but um, yeah, it does tear, and it's all cut into these nice little, nice little thin strips already. So that's kind of nice. Anyways, I put it on the top and the bottom edge because then my it kind of makes a little channel for the um, twine to go down. Okay, and then I am just going to take some glue. And I like to use crystal lacquer for my glue, although it does get kind of um, clogged on the ends. So I'll usually have to poke, poke a pokey in there. But I like my crystal lacquer, and I like to use it as a glue. So I'm just going to put a um, dabble do ya right there for my bow, and then I did do a little bit underneath my twine, just because I like it to stay in place. And I did kind of hold that down for a little bit. Um, So I'm actually just going to hold both of these down for a little bit. Um, so yeah, that is that card. That one was pretty darn easy to do. Um, when Mitra is on, she is going to show stamping with the platform with the slimline stamps. And she's also going to show how to use the slimline stamps just like on an A2 card. So, because they don't, you hear the word slimline stamps and you think you have to use them for a slimline, but you don't. Do you sell crystal lacquer, Sarah? I do not sell crystal lacquer. Where can we get that? Oh, I don't know. I usually get mine at the conventions. <laughs> so, <laughs> unfortunately, the conventions haven't happened. Um, so, I would imagine you could probably get them from Amazon. Um, when I was at the conventions, I would get them from Gary Berlin, which I don't think he sells retail, or from Judy Kins, but she doesn't do very many shows either. So, um, or try your local stamp store. They should have them too. So let's move on to our palm tree card, which is this one. And I think we're doing really good for time. That was the shortest one. Oh, you can get, Joanne carries crystal oh, okay. 
Somebody said Joanne's carries crystal lacquer. I found it on. Oh, um, my mom found it. Um, Walmart, Amazon. But if you do have a little stamp store by you, try them because they they need the support. And then if you can't find it there, then go to one of your big box stores. So this one um, is, I have to find my kit. Here it is. Okay. So on this kit, you're going to notice that you have some removable tape and that's attached right onto your envelope, okay? So that you do need. So let's open our kit up and pull our pieces out. I did not do my homework. I did not do my happy birthday, sorry. Um, the palm trees, again, I printed those, so that's why they came out so nice. And yes, this is, this tape is actually a removable tape. It's called Eclipse Tape. And this is actually from Judykins. So that is where I got the Eclipse Tape from. Um, it comes, I used a, like a one inch roll. I do have, I don't have very much of this one left, which is my big roll. I really liked that one. So I need to get some more of that. Anyways, well, I'm talking and while you're getting stuff out, I'm just gonna weed out my, my happy birthday. Now the happy birthday die, and we have a with sympathy, are, I made them just to fit on the slim line <coughs> cards. So, and you don't have to save this because your kit should have two little gems. But I made these long enough to fit on the slim line cards. So, or you can use them on a mini slim line and like stack happy birthday. Um, or um, horizontally on an A2 card, too. I think they, it fits on there. Or they fit really nice going all the way across the bottom of a slimline card. You guys probably already weeded. Well, if your kit came, Kathy's kit went all the way to Pittsburgh. Well, it went to her local post office, and then it took a detour to Pittsburgh <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't get her kid on time. So she's just watching tonight. But sometimes people like to do that anyways because then they can watch and then they can do it um, when they don't feel rushed. And I feel rushed. So let's go and start on here. So these two pieces, this one gets attached, but I did pop this piece up, so we'll attach that later. Now to make this, we have our sun and these two pieces of removable tape. Um, we're going to trim them as a slight like wavy thing. So to do that, you need two of them. And if you just attach them together, and I didn't attach them together because I wasn't sure if they'd come apart. But I know they do come apart. I just didn't know if they'd come apart if we left them sitting like that for too long. So but just stick them together right now because we're going to trim. And then one will be the top and one will be the bottom. <laughs> Kathy's kid is still burning in Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now I just took my removable tape and I just, you know, just an ever so slight curve to make your ocean because it doesn't go straight across, or sometimes it does. So it's not much, just a very slight curve. And one, they'll be opposite because they're attached together. So one will fit on the bottom and one will fit on the top um, and I'm, you don't have to put them both on I'm just going to put mine both on so you can see how they kind of fit they should fit together hmm actually did I do that wrong I 
I had that all in my mind and it worked when I did it before. So hang on people, I might have done that wrong. So Kathy, good thing you're not doing it live. <laughs> mm -hmm. So hang on. Maybe I wasn't supposed to stick sticky together, I was supposed to stick them the other way. Good thing these are like an inch wide. So hang on, don't do anything. Sarah might have screwed up. Yes, that worked better. Um, so I stuck them just on top of each other and then trimmed them. So I have one half that's going to mask off my sky, one half that masks off my ocean. I am masking off my ocean first. So my other one I'm just setting aside. So you can mask off your ocean. We're going to color our ocean first. And hang on again, because I forgot that I did color yellow in this area first. And I did a very light yellow. So very light. So I did take my yellow ink pad. This is what happens when I do my samples way ahead of time. I forget what I do. So you want to get some blending brush ink on there. Do it off on your paper because you want to do where the sun is going to be and you want it to be very light. So you're just going to do a very light yellow where the sun is going to be. And then we're going to end up doing it darker later, but we're just going to have a light yellow first. Okay, so you want to do it off on your scratch paper and then wherever your sun is going to be, you just want some light yellow. Then you're going to put your circle there and see how the circle goes a little bit below the ocean. So we're going to mask off our ocean. This is all going to be ocean. Our sun dips a little bit down into our ocean. There we go. Now Sarah's in a groove. So now we are going to just color our ocean. I'm using my lighter, lighter color first. And you don't have to do it solid. You can see that I have a little bit of variance in color. And I did that by first doing my blue, not totally solid because you can see some areas that are lighter. And then I took my ink pad, even one of these little cubes after, and I just did some streaks and then I blended those out a little bit just to give a little variance in our ocean color. So again, start on our ink pad. <coughs> we want to go a little bit off and then we're going to brush blend. Now don't go high up here. You don't want to extend above your tape. And I did not do dark blue all the way to the bottom of the sun. I kind of let my yellow and my blue blend together. So you're just going to do your ocean blue. Again, it can be solid or it doesn't even have to be totally solid. You can have different shades of blue in your ocean. And we are going to put different distinct shades of blue, but even with the same shade that you're doing right now, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can have some little darker areas. And I did leave my little yellow down here too. Then you can either take, I find it harder with my big ink pads to do some little swooshes. So I do find it easier like with a little cube um, to do some swooshes. What is the brush you are using to add the blue, Sarah, and do you sell them? Um, the blending brushes. I, well, 
I've got two different ones here. I don't like the ones that have this gold top because they, if you don't hold them right, they can snap. The ones that are black are much better. I, I used to have them on my website on the accessory page. I don't know if they're still there. Um, I think I still do have a few left. So now I've got some of these swooshes here and I'm just gonna try and blend a little bit. And I did take my finger when I was making my sample and I just kind of got it a little bit wet with some spit. Depending on the ink pad you're using. I think I was talking too long and I didn't blend those out good enough. It looks like waves. Well, that's what I was trying to accomplish. Yep. But I did blend them a little <laughs> bit more with my other one. Um, but yeah, I wasn't talking as much. So, anyways, however you want to get your water. Looks nice. Then we're going to take our other one and it should mask off pretty close. I still don't think it's masking the right way. Well, anyways, just kind of get it close to there. Doesn't have to be perfect. The ocean's not perfect. Oh, I'm going the other way. Duh. <laughs> no wonder why I couldn't do it. I'm going this way. Now it's fitting right. There we go. Now I'm masking off my water and I'm doing my sky. So if you had mask or if I would have had enough of the eclipse tape, I would have punched circles and sent you circles that would um, stay stuck down but I didn't have enough of it, so I couldn't send you that. Um, so you kind of have to do hold your um, sun in place while you're doing this. And I did start with my yellow. And I did do my yellow quite a bit right around the sun and out a little bit further. But I did it a few times right, you know, right around it just so I got a nice, brilliant yellow. And that's up to you. And then you can move on to your orange. So I did orange next. And then I did some pink. Now I used ruby, which is almost like a red. It's a very deep pink. Do you sell the ellipse tape? I do not have the ellipse tape. That is from Judykins. I think that's their own product. I don't know that they... So when I went to my next color, your orange, start off. And remember not to go down into your water. Your mask, your water is masked off. can take your orange out as far as you want because you're going to blend them together. Your orange and your pink you'll blend together. So now I've blended my yellow, my orange, and now I'm going to go on to my pink. It's 10 to Sarah. Oh yeah, and we have to be done. Okay, so we're still moving. We're moving along. We have to be done by 7.15. And that's okay. We've got time. But thank you for letting me know. Yeah. 
we'll finish this one up in just a little bit because we're almost done. If you had stamped the trees instead of paint printing it, um, would it would the blending smear the black? Um, sometimes it does, depending on your ink. So I would use stays on, or I would do your. I mean, what would be optimal would be to do your brush blending first, and then stamp your palm trees over the top of it. That would be the best way to do it. Brush blending first, right? Yeah. Okay. I am just going to go over this a little bit with my yellow. Now I should be able to take that off. Stays on. Stays right? on would work great, yeah. Stays, oops, stays on. Okay. Now if you did miss a little bit, you could go back um, with your blue. You know, you could mask off the other way and go back and fill any of that in. So, but yeah, basically we have our, um, our beautiful sunset. So we're going to attach these two pieces together. And I'm just going to leave that. It doesn't really bother me too much. And you could have made your sky whatever color, you know, purple. Purples make good skies too. So, and then I did use foam tape all around here to attach that to the um, basis teal. So I'm going to attach my basis teal to my card first. And then I'm just going to use foam tape on the back of my um, sunset layer. So I have these two. Now you certainly don't have to. You could put it down without foam tape, but I just popped it up with a little bit of foam tape. So that's perfectly up to you. Whether you want to pop or not pop. And then for attaching my happy birthday, I am going to use my micro dot adhesive. Okay, so I'm popping that bugger up. Um, I'm going to finish poking out my happy birthday. If you're done with your, if you've pre weeded, done your homework, um, you can go ahead and use your glue or your micro dot adhesive to attach your happy birthday and then your gems. Okay, so we have our birthday. And now we just need our little happy. I think they do make a masking tape too, but I do like the lips tape. You know, you could use that removable. The removable painter's tape? Mm, no, no, I use a removable 3M. You can get it in different widths. Mm. 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 Okay, so now I'm using my micro dot <coughs> adhesive to attach my happy birthday. And you could put your happy birthday up in the sky if you wanted to. It's a, it's a post-it, a removable post-it tape. Oh, yeah, post-it tape, yes. 
You're right. They do have that removable post-it tape because I have some of that in my desk drawer. Yep. I love that stuff. Would that work, sir? I think that would work, too. Probably pretty, pretty close to what the ellipse tape yep. is. Okay. So, yeah. Then you're just your little gems, and we are done with that card. Well, if I can get my gems apart. Hmm. Yeah, my gems didn't come apart that great. So I'm cutting the adhesive off the outside of my gems. Why, you ask? I don't know what I did wrong. All right. So our happy birthday palm tree card. Then we are moving on to our um, birch tree card. So that one has stamping. So if you have the large stamping platform, pull it out. If you don't, no worries, because I don't have one. So I'm going to show you how I stamped mine without the large stamping platform. So this is our birch tree card. We have our little animals that we're going to need a black ink <coughs> pad for and a clear block. We have a light gray marker and if you are a glitter girl we have our crystal lacquer and some glitter. And we also have our birch tree stamp. Sarah, so, do you have any of the kits still available? I do have kits still available. Yep. So if you have a platform, which I have one back here, I have this size platform. Um, and so my stamp doesn't fit on it. But they do make a bigger one. And that's what Mitra is going to show you how to stamp and how to layer colors with the big stamp platform. Um, so, but <coughs> obviously it's easier to stamp with your platform, but I'm going to show you how I stamped mine. Now in your kit, I'm going to pull my kit out, there's two pieces of paper because we have a tester piece of paper in case you screw up. And paper has two sides. So you actually have four shots at this. So you have the little birds. Now we gave you extra little birds um, because there's a bunch of birds and I just told Becky just give them a bunch of birds. <laughs> so you have extra birds. Then you have your sending warm wishes and your little die cut piece. Then you have your scored card. You have your black layer that goes on top of it. So that we can attach right on right away. Why don't we just get that out of the way. So attach your black layer to your fossil slimline scored card. Okay, and then these two layers are both the same size and they're both close to the same color. Um, one of them has a little sparkly, which if you're looking at them both flat like this, it's the creamier one is your cryogen white and if you turn it at a different angle you see the little bit of sparkle. You won't see it in the camera but at home you're going to see it. So I gave you one piece of whipped cream which is your practice piece and I gave you one piece of cryogen white which has the little bit of sparkle to it. Um, now cryogen white, if you are a lover of cryogen white, I would get it now because it is discontinued by the mill and I don't know how much we have left. So. Your cryogen white is your final piece. I'm going to set that aside because I'm going to practice with my other piece. So what I did was I, and I'm just going to tell you first and then we'll go ahead and do it. And we have our, our piece of whipped cream to practice and we can always turn it over and practice too. And I like to have a clear block 
that is a fairly decent sized one. And I did have it out here earlier. Here it is. Um, so I like to ink up my stamp. Ink, 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 ink. And then I take my piece of paper and I lay it down over the top. And then if you take a big stamp, you can just put even pressure all the way across. And this obviously was a dirty block. So you're, you probably have a cleaner one. So now I'm going to do it for real. So you can do it for real with me. And if you have a stamping platform, feel free to stamp on your platform. This is for those of us that don't have a large stamping platform, which when I decided to do this class, it didn't even occur to me. I didn't know what size my platform was. So I'm doing my practice piece. I'm going to lay it down. Oh, and you want to lay it down so it is hanging. You know, if you go where you can't see the, where you can't see the stamp, you are going to have birch trees that come all the way down. So you want to go about three quarters of an inch down, set it down. And then you're just going to take your clear. And the first time I did this, I used a brayer. Um, and that seemed to work okay. But I did, you know, because it was ripply, I thought this worked better. So you just don't want to get any ink in here. Okay, when you're inking, you want to be a more of a tappy tapper. Um, you don't want to be a smoosh because you don't want to get ink in between your trees. <laughs> See where I have ink in between my trees right here? That will show up. So you want to be a light tappy tapper instead of a smoosher. So just a tappy tap, tappy tap. And if you see ink on the rubber, you just want to be aware that you want to get that off. So I'm going to practice again. And I really did use this color of ink pad when I did my first one. I just re-inked it today. Um, and who knows, maybe I re-inked it with the wrong color ink. So I'm going to go on my side that has my other stuff on it. And again, you're going to do it, you know, about three quarters of an inch below. You're going to take your block, because that gives you a nice flat surface. So it's even pressure all the way across. And then I have my trees. So now that we've practiced a couple times, now I feel fairly confident that I could do it on my actual project. So, but you do have two sides to your actual project too, <laughs> if you have a clean block. Sarah, <laughs> your mom is making fun of you. I know. <laughs> you saw it. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't see it. Oh, what did you do? I, I said, sir is of German, English, Scandinavian descent, but based on how much she uses her hands while talking, there obviously is, is some Italian in our bloodlines. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't see all of the comments unless I tap on my screen. Okay. So, yeah, you guys could be talking smack about me, and I probably <laughs> wouldn't even know. We wouldn't do that, sir. No, I know. We wouldn't. Because I'm, like, so intent on what I'm doing. Um so again, you do have two times to do this. And if you get any <laughs> ink on there. Mm. But I do go back and look at the comments. So if you were talking <laughs> smack about me, I'd probably know. No. Eventually. It was a loving. I know, I know. We're good. We're good. Okay. Ink, ink, ink. Tappy tapper. Then we're going to take our cryogen white. Go down about a half of an inch. Now I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. Oh, and my ink, my block is still like cruddy, so I can't even turn mine over. I did it! Yay! Yay. <laughs> I love it when stuff works out. Okay. 
So now um, we have that. We can pick out whatever little animals we want. <coughs> Where are we at for time, Mom? Oh, you have. So we have 10 minutes. Okay. So I'm just going to explain the rest of the card, and then I'm going to work in case it hits 7.15, because that's when Mitra's coming on. So we're going to pick out whatever little animals we want to put on there. I did take my gray marker, and I did do at the bottom of each tree. I just did a little bit of gray. And then I did draw a snow hill. And that's just like hand. So. And anywhere that I did my gray marker, I went and I did my glitter and my glue. But that's totally up, up to you. If you're not a glitter girl, you don't have to. And then I also did them below my little bunnies too. Okay. And these don't have to be like perfect stripes either. So you can What just brand is that caramel ink? That's Impression Obsession. So Impression Obsession, which she's going to give you a coupon code for 25% off, I believe, all purchases. So um, I did cut my Warm Winter Wishes. And I'm going to go do my animals in a minute, but I'm going to finish my get this piece cut. This one was popped up with foam tape and then I did cut this at the same. I cut them both the same, which is probably better to attach them together. But So those were popped up and then it was kind of just lined up with the edge of right here. Now I do want to show you one other thing, um, which I did totally forget to put on the supply list. I did take and on here, I don't know if you can see them, there's white dots on there. So I did add snow, which you could use Nouveau drops. I did use acrylic paint. And it's hard to see. Oh, I see it. So right here, was it? Yeah. Could you see the, the snow? Yeah, it's hard. Okay. Yeah, it's hard. Okay. Well, anyways, there's little white dots on there. I did take my acrylic paint and a toothpick, which I did this this past weekend. Um, and I just dipped my toothpick in my acrylic paint and then just kind of added my dots. Now you could do the same thing with Nouveau drops. But Nouveau drops tend to be a little bit bigger. Now let's see if I have a piece of different colored cardstock that this will show up. So this is just a piece of um, fossil, but see how that you can make little drops, little snowflakes, or big ones. So it really, the toothpick, it's a little putsy, but it works out really nice for making little random snowflakes. So yeah, in the camera you can't see the snowflakes on there, the but I did put snowflakes on the back of the background, like coming in the trees. So. Nouveau drops, you would get a little bit bigger drops. What is it? New? New, the Nouveau drops. Okay. So you'll get, you know, depending on the tip on your Nouveau drops, they all come out like bigger like this. Where with the toothpick, you can get really small, teeny tiny drops. So I just want to show you that before. So now let's go back onto our card. Just in case it hits 7.15, because that's when Mitra's um, video is automatically going to start. So I am using the animals and you can pick out whichever little cute animals you want. So we have the little bunnies. They're so really cute. I usually practice on my white paper just to make sure. And I'm using the Versa Fine Claire. Oh, we're at um, 7-Eleven. So yes, 7 if I have to go off, 
because Mitra is going to be going on, I will be watching her and answering any questions. But basically, you're just going to then assemble your card. This piece is going to attach to your black. And then this piece, you're going to, I popped, I popped my words up. And then I added my glitter. Three minutes. Yeah. Honestly, this is the first time that I've done a, um, a pre-recorded video and scheduled it. So I don't know if like, I'm going to get kicked off, but we should probably just get off so then you guys can catch her video. You can start it right from the beginning, though, too, if it starts um, and you're still on this page or you don't hit it right at the beginning. Aren't these little animals cute? They are super. I'm liking those. They're super adorable. Set. Who are those? Are those? Dials? Those are impression obsession. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, there we got all of our stamping done, um, and now we just have our assembly to go. So. Thank you for joining me for our Slimline class. Mitra is going to be on and demoing for you Your shortly. live video starts on Sarah Bogan Shoots Justice and in three minutes. Oh, three it, minutes. Okay. It just popped up three minutes. Okay. You told me. <laughs> Hopefully it starts on the right page. Hey, I did you? set it on the virtual class page. So if it doesn't automatically start here, I will put it here. Um, but yeah, because like I said, this is the first time that I've scheduled a video. Usually I'm just live with you guys. So thank you for joining me tonight. And hopefully you can join me on Saturday for our comment sold sale. And then next Thursday we'll be on doing our fun time gnome scored card holder. Be sure to say hi to Leah on Saturday. She's so nervous about being here. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. won't be here. Mom will be working. Um... So yeah, we'll miss her, and yeah, Leah doesn't know what she's doing, so <laughs> we'll take it easy on her. So anyways, thanks for joining me, guys. I will be watching comments on Mitra's feed. Um, hope you enjoyed the class, and we'll see you on Saturday. Should I say stop?